so for those of you who were working <clears throat> with us on math last time, um, we're going to do a little bit review of what we started on the last time around. Um, so, does so anyone remember what's the first thing we do when we come across a fraction? Lowest common denominator. What's the lowest common denominator of this one going to be? 21. 21. Right? How do we find this number out? 7. Okay. <laughs> You're all kind of close, right? But, but what's the first thing we got to do? So we want to find out this new top number. So you want to buy, you want to buy the, the three on top with the seven on the bottom. So you, you multiply the same time. So it's seven by three or three by seven. Yeah, get the twenty-one. Yeah. Okay. So what Ferris is saying is that seven times three equals twenty-one. So you have to multiply the top. By the same thing, three, and you're going to get 18. Three times six is 18. How are we going to get this number? Same way, right? So three goes into 21. Seven times two? Four. 14. 14 minus 18? Ah. Can't do it. You got to borrow from the one, so that becomes a zero. Where, how do we get the one into this fraction? So, twenty-one over twenty-one. Got it. Does everyone remember this? We did it last time. Because we borrowed this one, we have to express our one in terms of the denominator. Everybody knows twenty-one divided by twenty-one is. That's our one that we borrowed. 14 plus 21 now becomes 35, 21, 35 minus 18 is 17, all over 21, this is 0, 0 minus 0 obviously is 0, 17, 21, can we reduce it? No. Moving right along.